Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we present our hope in the Lord and we wait for His grace. We know that waiting for the Lord will bring something good for us. And so, to prepare ourselves to receive these graces from God, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please all be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, 
I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves. As we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies, for in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees for itself is not hope, for who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done marvels for us. The Lord has done marvels for us. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done marvels for us. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done marvels for us. Please all stand. Our spirit and life, you have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again, he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. For the past months, I have been hearing the word mental health 
Siguro po ay isa ito sa mga concern natin ngayong mga panahon na ito. How can I maintain a good mental health in this time of crisis? Totoo nga naman po na talagang minsan it will take a toll on your mental health. No? Every day we are wearing masks, we are wearing face shields, we cannot go out of the house. How can we maintain a good mental health? One psychologist said that if we want to maintain a good mental health, then we must engage in activities that make us look forward to something good to happen. Kung nais daw natin na pangalagaan ang ating mental health, kailangan mayroon tayong mga gagawin na may hinihintay tayo na magandang resulta. I think this is also what the Word of God today tells us. To hope, to wait for something good. In our first reading today, from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, St. Paul reminds the Romans at that time that we are saved in hope. When we hope, then we are saved. And hoping is also waiting with endurance. Sabi ni San Pablo, na ililigtas tayo ng Panginoon dahil sa pag-asa natin. At ang ating pag-asa ay makikita sa paghihintay. Whenever we hope, we are saved. And in our gospel reading today, we see that Jesus mentioned two activities that make you hope and expect for something good. Jesus used the example of planting, sowing the seed in a garden. Yes, you start to plant, but then you watch it grow and you wait for something good to come out of that plant. Another activity that Jesus said in the gospel is making a bread, baking. Whenever you measure the flour and put on yeast, then you wait for that flour to be leavened and become bread. My dear brothers and sisters, if we want to maintain a good and sound mental health, then we must engage in activities that make us expect and hope for something good to happen. Ano kaya ang magagandang mga activities na pwede nating gawin na may hinihintay tayong magandang kalalabasan? Halimbawa, ang pagtatanim. Kaya ngayon, marami ang mga nagtatanim ng halaman. Whenever you plant something and you watch it grow daily, you expect it to grow into a plant. Then, that is an activity that you look something forward, something good to happen. For example, in this time of pandemic, maybe it is time for us to change our lifestyle. Baka kailangan magbawas ng kinakain, magpalit ng lifestyle na mas maganda, and then when you change your lifestyle, you look forward to a healthier body. You look forward to a healthier you. For example, many of us are supporting a candidate for elections. 
some people would even use their own resources. Yung iba nga, ginagamit ang sarili nilang pera. Hindi sila binibigyan ng poster. Sila mismo ang gumagawa ng poster. Kahit kartolina lang yan at pentel pen. At nakikita mo masayang masaya ang mga tao. Bakit? They look forward to something good that will happen with their candidate. My dear brothers and sisters, if we want to maintain a good mental health, let us engage in activities where we can expect for something good to happen, where we can wait and hope for something good to come. That is the essence of hope. And St. Paul reminds us today, whenever we hope, we are saved. Let us therefore hope in God, wait in God. Amen. Please all stand. Like a great tree with flourishing branches, or like a seed quietly growing, so the kingdom of God spreads. We make our prayers together as our share in that loving plan of divine providence. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to grow by welcoming and redeeming human cultures and values. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those involved in economic development programs may support farmers and may those who develop the land, the land protect and respect the natural environment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our families, especially our children, may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the sick may be steadfast in their faith and may be strengthened through our care and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to grasp the importance of the time in which we are living. Open our hearts to your word so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all be seated.
Solster. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you 
as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, in a nang awang.